players, but when you see someone like Dan Mullen that you know so well, the top of college football, just what are your feelings seeing what he's able to do with that team this year? Well, I see uh, Kyle Whittingham, I see Coach Strong, I see uh, Dan, I see Gary Anderson. I have a lot of friends out there that we work together. And uh, Dan Mullen in particular, though, is uh, I, I'm just really fired up for him. Um, he's a very good coach. He took, a, took over a program. I remember when he... Uh, we just won the SEC championship game, and he asked if they could go interview with Mississippi State. I said, Dan, you're from New Hampshire. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he looked at me, and I said, do what you got to do. And, you know, I've known him forever. He was a GA for me at uh, Notre Dame back in whenever that was. So. But I'm real proud. He's a heck of a coach, and couldn't happen to a better guy. Do you consider, as along with developing players, do you consider developing assistants to be head coaches part well, Lou of the Holtz job? Lou told me that. He, you know, when I was hired there and he did a great job, he would actually, you know, help guys and help me uh, when it started getting close to the time. And he says, you know, one of your obligations is to uh, make sure you do things the right way and, and teach your coaches to, you know, to when it's time to move on, move on. And, uh, you know, I think I take great pride in the fact those guys are doing real well.